welcome to our channel where today we're exploring the hows and whys of the beautiful tradition of praying with candles. In the Bible, John in his gospel describes Jesus saying, In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So Jesus is the light of the world, the light that drives out evil and sin. Every time we light up a candle to pray, we are reminded of the fact that yes, Jesus is the light of the world. And I just love that image. I think it's so beautiful. But how did the tradition of praying with candles get started? Well, it goes back to the early days of the church when the first Christians would use candles to light up the catacombs for mass. So the candles had a spiritual but also a practical purpose. These days, most of us have electricity, so we're not dependent on candles for light. But still, if you go into a darkened room and light a single candle, that flickering flame and the light it gives off, that's a powerful reminder of Jesus' presence. It can also help to soothe our hearts and our minds and help us focus during prayer and be more open to the light of God. So the tradition of praying with candles has a long and rich history in the Catholic Church, and it's really cool to think that all down through the ages, different people of all kinds have been using candles both at Mass and also during private prayer. So do you have to use a particular type of candle when you pray? Not really. Any candle can do in a pinch, but it's good to use a candle that has been blessed by a priest. And in the Catholic Church, we have a special day for this actually, February 2nd or Candlemas, where you can bring your candles to the church and have them blessed. But usually your priest will bless a candle for you any time of the year, so don't worry if you've missed February 2nd, it works any time. A candle that has been blessed though does become what we call a sacramental, which is a holy object or action that helps us grow in faith and holiness. One popular type of candle is a candle like this. They're called seven day pillar candles and usually have a picture of Mary or Jesus or the saints on them. And on average, they will burn for seven days continually. And that's where the name comes from. And you can find these at places like Dollar Tree or the grocery store. And then you can take them to church and have them blessed. Or you can also buy really nice beeswax candles or votive candles and use them for private prayer. The word votive, in fact, comes from the Latin word votum, which means prayer or a promise. So when you light a votive candle, in reality, what you're doing is you're making a promise to pray for a particular person or an intention. An interesting fact about the candles that you see burning up on the altar during Mass is that they're generally made from pure beeswax. The beeswax represents the pure body of Christ, the wick represents his soul, and the flame represents his divinity. That symbolism of the flame representing God, that comes to us right from the Bible. Just think of Moses and the burning bush, or the flame that led the Israelites during the desert, or even the flame of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. So it's really cool how it all interconnects. So when is the best time to pray with a candle? Well, you can light up a candle and pray with one just about any time, but there are four times outside of the mass when praying with a candle can be especially helpful. The first one is during stormy weather, where you can light up a candle and leave it burning as a symbol of your continual prayer for protection. Another time to light a candle, especially a blessed candle, is any time that you're undergoing some type of temptation or maybe you feel like you're under spiritual attack. Remember that Jesus is the light of the world and the light will always overcome the power of darkness. The third situation is when you're saying a specific prayer of intention for something, someone, or in Thanksgiving. And you often see votive candles at a church just for this purpose. The fourth time that we pray with candles is during the different liturgical seasons of the church year. We often pray with blessed candles during ones like Advent, where we have the Advent wreath, and also during Lent. Can you buy a candle that has already been blessed? And the answer to that is no. Blessed objects should not be bought or sold. To do that is a special sin called the sin of simony, which you definitely want to avoid. In fact, if you see a website or a store that is offering candles or other objects for sale that have already been blessed, just steer clear of those. 
but you can buy a candle online and have it placed for you in a church or a shrine such as the Grotto of Lourdes, which is really cool because these candles can represent our prayers in a holy place when we can't be there in person. There are even websites where you can buy a virtual prayer candle, which is really cool because that candle is just a nice symbol of your intention to pray for someone or something. And if you're interested in doing that, we'll leave some links in the description box for you. What should you do with candles that you have prayed with and are blessed but you don't want anymore? Well, remember, if they're blessed, they're sacramentals, so they should be buried or burned and not just thrown in the trash. Can you give someone a prayer candle as a gift? Yes, absolutely. Although you can't buy or sell blessed candles, you could still buy a beautiful candle and have it blessed for someone. And these make great gifts for birthdays or for Christmas. Just make sure that the recipient knows that the candle is blessed so it can be handled respectfully. Does God still hear my prayer if I'm not using a candle when I pray? And the answer is absolutely, of course. You do not have to light a candle every time you say a prayer. But we are very physical creatures. We are body and soul, and we respond to light and to beauty. So lighting up a candle while you pray is a neat way to add a new dimension to your prayer life. Is there a particular time of day when praying with a candle is best? Well, you can light up a candle and pray anytime, but 3 p.m. is an especially good time because 3 p.m. is the holy hour or the hour of divine mercy when Jesus died on the cross for us. All right, so there you have it. We hope this video has inspired you to light up a candle and light up the world with your prayers. Remember in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus says, you are the light of the world. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.